So when pricing basics aren't enough, there's some additional things that you can do with the pricing tables to um, sort of facilitate some of the more complex sales. Um, so the first and most obvious of those is options and choices. Now, I wanna just draw a distinction between the two. So optional items are more like upsells. So that would be like, okay, here's an item for a hundred pounds, but you know, you can have this additional thing for just another seven, right? So you have, you give them, it appears to them like a tick box, they tick it and then it adds it onto the total at the end. So if you've got like low priced add-ons, that's what you want to use optional items for. So to do that, all you need to do is add the item as you normally would, and then just click the little settings icon to the left of the, just the item click that and then you'll see a little toggle for optional. Click that on and then it makes it an optional item. So you won't see it, but you'll see the little tag for optional, but what your client sees is a nice tick box there. So, so that's that. Now, when you mark something as a choice, you typically would set several things up as a choice. Now, this is probably best described as package selling. So if you've got package A, B and C, or you know gold, silver and bronze, that kind of thing, you would add your, say, gold, silver, and bronze packages, mark all three of them as a choice, and then what your client then sees is more like radio buttons. So they can only select one of those choices. So with your upsells or optional items, they can select as many as they like, but with choices, they have to choose one. So that's kind of the difference. So upsells and packages. Um, the other thing you can do is quantity selling. So if you are selling something in quantities then again you add your line item as usual that's kind of a common theme add it first and then you click your little settings icon on the left hand side and then you simply switch on quantities and at this point you can then change the unit cost and then the amount and then the obviously the total is there and then that gets added to the rest of the um, items that you've got and then reflects in your grand total now, the last thing is multiple pricing tables. This is a question we get quite a lot. And what people often want to do is they want to say have, maybe they've got a proposal of say two or three different services in there. And then what they want to do is they want to say, okay, this is say the website. We want to put the design, the development, the hosting over here. Then we've got your branding and we want to have your, your logo, your letterheads and what business cards here. And then we've got some consulting ongoing. So then we're going to have your consulting options. Now this sounds great in theory, and if you had it as a single piece of paper, it would make complete sense. But the way that Better Proposals is structured is that you don't really wanna be splitting your pricing up because it's entirely possible that somebody wouldn't see some of your pricing. Now that could cause untold issues with somebody coming back saying, oh, I didn't realize it was gonna be an extra three grand for this thing or that thing. It's just gonna cause issues in the future. So the best thing to do is to keep all of your pricing in one place. Now, the other benefit of doing this is that you're not trying, you're not saying like, here's the thing and here's the price, here's the thing and here's the price. You're saying, look, this is the whole service. Get your head into that, imagine the future. You know, you can see all the positives and all the positive ways it's gonna affect your life and business, etc. And then at the end, you're like, okay, this is how the financial side of things work is worked out. The other benefit to doing this is that it means that you can have a really, really, really simple pricing table with very little information and simply references the stuff that you mentioned earlier in the proposal. So what you end up with is a nice catalog of all of these different items. Now, one thing that people used to bring up to us all the time was, well, what if I've got 15 items on there? It's just gonna look mad. It's gonna look more confusing than if they were all split up. And we agreed with this. So what we built in is section titles. Now section titles are simply headers that you can put wherever you want in the sort of in the in between the different line items. So in our example here, you would say website design as a section title, then you'd have your two, three different items, then you'd have your branding or whatever it was, and then the different items and your consulting and the different items, and then the total at the bottom. This is the cleanest and simplest way of presenting your pricing. It fits with all best practices and it is definitely the way that you want to go about doing it. So if you're thinking, oh, I need multiple pricing tables, what you're actually after is just to split the pricing table up for yourself with section titles. So hope that helps you elevate your pricing even further. Make sure that you can you know, really present it how you want to do it, but it's still in a clean and concise way. Enjoy.